It is for the empowerment of the women in Bwari Area Council and for the improvement of girl child education vis a vis the skill acquisition for the less privileged and for micro scale support scheme for women in business that Voice of Bwari Women was formed. The organization, which was formally launched on the 11th day of July 2021, had in attendance notable politicians, businessmen, and other distinguished personality as the venue of the event was full to its capacity. While unveiling the organization's logo, the chairman Bari Area Council, John S. Gabaya, expressed delight for the formation of the group, stating that the organization will elevate the suffering of the people while promising total support to the organization. It is not a, an easy task. They have taken a, a boss step that is not going to be easy. Just as I have said earlier, I use my dialect to tell them that to start a program of this kind is not easy because it requires finances, and which we know that as the time we are in now, it is not easy. But I pray that God Almighty will provide all their needs. The president, voice of Buari Women Organization, Felicia Ibrahim, while stating what informed the formation of the group, said, It is to help the widows, orphans, and to help women in small-scale businesses. The organization has been in existence from 2019, but today is officially unveiled. The organization is going to help the widows, the less privilege and the orphans at large and girl child education we want to promote a girl child education and to ensure that the voice of women is being heard in fct and the nation at large the guest speaker at the event Teofilos chugudu and adamu shokolumi who were also delighted for the emergence of the organization challenged the leadership to ensure they maintain its sustainability while also expressing optimism that the lives of Bwari women and children will be touched. Okay, I, I think first and foremost, they should ensure that this group is sustained. Because like other groups, if you take a look at um, Study Bwari and Nigeria as a whole, you understand that so many groups have emerged like this. Even men have set up organizations, associations like this, but they suffer the problem of sustainability. So if they can sustain the tempo, it is not enough to gather people to celebrate, to unveil and launch your program. But what is expected of them now, because the ovation they've received today means that much is expected from them. So they must, be remain, they must remain united as, as, as a group. They must put aside sentiment. They must understand that they need each other to grow. A tree does not make a forest. So they should hold on to what they, they are they terms and conditions of the association and I trust that they would go uh, go places. From what we have seen, they have started well with the empowerment and all that. Uh, I, I believe uh, it will go a long way and I wish them well. I, I, I wish them well in, in, in whatever they do and uh, whatever way we can support to ensure that um, the organization did not uh, die on the way we will. Uh, the best way we can. As part of the unveiling ceremony was the official flag off for the empowerment of 30 women who were being given 50,000 naira each to start a business to be sponsored by the chairman, Bari Area Council, for the improvement of women and orphans as some of the beneficiaries expressed appreciation. We want to appreciate God for the privilege and also giving on to us and also appreciate the, the voice of um, Bwari women for making us one of the beneficiaries of this program. It's an honest prayer that God will bless and open more doors for them as they remember us. God will also remember them in Jesus' name. And I pray for the, for the Bwari Women Fellowship. May, may they continue in Jesus' name. High point of the event was the symbolic presentation of the empowerment package, the cutting of the cake and decoration of the wives of the traditional leaders of Bwari as the godmothers of the organization. Christy Shada for Ataza TV.